and welcome back to another video. So today I am here with a super massive <laughs> coloring supply haul. <laughs> now keep in mind I have not done one of these since November of 2021. I don't do these too often at all on my channel. Maybe twice a year if I'm lucky and I have enough to show in a video. So some of the things you're going to see in this video may be things that you already saw reviews of on my channel. Quite a bit of it was Happy Mail because I've got the most amazing subscribers ever. <laughs> Thank you to all of you that send me things. And some of the things you're going to see in this video I bought for myself over the last few months. And I'm still waiting for a couple things to come in the mail today. So hopefully while I'm filming, those few things will arrive so I could get them into the video. This is going to be probably a very long video so grab your coffee or your tea sit back and watch and don't let it enable you too much <laughs> but y'all know what happens with these videos everything that you see in this video I will have linked down below in the description box so that you could easily find it as well as links to my email list my Facebook group my Etsy shop and my patreon if you would like to support me there I also now have channel membership you can find more information about that by clicking the join button down below okay y'all so look what I finally got <laughs> so many of you have been asking me for tutorials on distress ink and how to use them in your coloring books and I had distress inks, but they were all dried out. <laughs> so I have not been able to do that. But I had a couple different subscribers that went to my wish list on Amazon and sent me these. So I am so excited about this. And then one of them had also sent me this uh, distress ink refresher so that I can take my old distress inks that are all dried out and bring them to life again. <laughs> So I probably have quite a few colors now to be able to use to do a tutorial for y'all, but I need to get these opened and play around with them a little bit myself. As you can see, I've not even opened them yet. Let's go ahead and open one. So those of you that aren't familiar with Distress Inks, they do stack on top of each other, which is a really great feature because it makes it a lot more difficult to lose them or misplace them. But this is what your Distress Inks look like. So I went and grabbed my little stamper tool and all you do is you would dab it like this and then put it on your coloring page just like that and when you order this it comes with these little um, cloth pieces that you could put on there and then when one gets used up you can always just swap it out there's velcro on there and they're just a really neat tool and I've not been able to use these in so long because mine were dried out but I don't have to worry about that anymore because now I have the distress refresher so I am super excited about that but they just stack like this which is really cool they also sell a little case that is specifically for these that you could put them inside of I think I might have one for my other inks I would have to go look and see but I got lots of really cool colors as you can see. So if you would like to see a tutorial on the Distress Ink after I get to sit and play around with it a little bit on my own, please let me know. The next thing I have are these Ohuhu glitter markers. Some of you may have seen them. Some of you may have even purchased these, but these are absolutely amazing glitter markers. And I like to use these right alongside my stickles because it adds glitter and even more glitter. But this is what the tip looks like. They actually color really, really nicely. I grabbed a sheet of my marker paper here so I could swatch a couple of them out. But these are super nice markers. I actually used them in a tutorial where I colored a key in one of the Hannah Carlson books. But with these, this one's not flowing really well right now. So the way that you get them to flow is you just, they're kind of like what you would do with a Posca. And then it really gets the color going. Look at that. That one probably has a little bit too much glitter that came out there, but I really like these. Let me try one more color over here. Now, of course, when you do this and pump them a little bit, don't ever do that on your coloring pages. <laughs> so you just wanna pump them a little like that, and then they do have quite a bit of glitter in them, but I really, really like these. 
They also have a metallic set, and I really want those too, but I've sort of heard mixed reviews on those, so I just haven't purchased them yet. But I'll hold it closer so you could see the glitter. Hopefully you can see that just a little bit when the light hits it. But those are really nice markers. The next thing I have are these fabulous Paul Rubin watercolors. I did do a review on these. These are part of the gemstone collection and they are really super nice. I had a swatch chart for these and I can't find it right now, but if you go back and watch my video, you can see what the colors swatch out like. All of the colors are really beautiful. They're bright, they're vibrant, and they are still pretty translucent at the same time, as you would expect from a watercolor. But these are a lot of fun. These are their artist grade line. But this set comes with 24 colors, and the case is just so beautiful. Look at this beautiful case. It's sort of like reflective, and the color is just gorgeous but I really like these. It's got the little thumb hole here on the back and it's just really, really nice. And Paul Rubin watercolors, you can always expect that the packing and the presentation is just absolutely beautiful because I do have another set and it's from another line of their watercolors and it's beautiful and pastel and pink and I just absolutely love it. And here's the swatch chart for the Paul Rubin watercolors. As you can see, there's lots of bright, beautiful colors in here, and you do get a white in this set, and you get a black in this set. But the colors all swatched out look a lot different than what you see when you initially look at them in their tin, but you can see that there's some gorgeous, bright, vibrant colors in here. But here is the Paul Rubin um, student grade line that they also sent me, and I actually did a tutorial and a review on these, which you can also find on my channel. This one came with a water brush, and there are 48 colors in this one. And there's some really beautiful colors in this one too because you get a lot of metallics as well in this set. And these are really nice watercolors for a more student grade set. You can see the difference in the two of them. This one just has the plastic piece in here that the watercolors lay inside of. And if you saw with this one, it is much more like an artist grade set and very much more like all the other Paul Rubin sets I'm very familiar with where all of these come out just like this. You push this piece back here and then the watercolors pop out and to keep them in you just keep this in just a little bit tighter but each one of these do come out if you want to take them out. You just have to make sure that you keep these really tight and secure or all of these little individual pans will just fall right out. And then they also sent me these brushes. These are super nice brushes. I've been using these quite a lot when I'm doing my watercoloring and they are just really, really nice. They have the little hooks up here so you can hang them if you wanted to. They have Chinese writing on them and they're just really, really nice. I'll put them up here so you could see them a little bit closer, but they're just really pretty brushes and they're really well made. One is pretty small and thin and then we get a medium one and then the other one is pretty big. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the pencils that I have purchased. And I don't have that many pencils, but I do have a few. And like I said, this has, has been since November of 2021. So it's been, my gosh, we're approaching a year. <laughs> We're already almost in September. So it's been quite a long time. So when I said I do two hauls a year, I probably do less than two hauls a year. But these are my Brutefooner Macaron pencils. And I absolutely love these. I just have these in this case because I've not purchased a smaller case for them. These are supposed to be a dupe for the pastel colors in the Holbein set. I'll hold it a little closer so you could see these pencils, but they are super nice. These go down really, really nicely on the paper. They are a little bit softer, and when you lay the color down, it does go right down. I do have a review on these. If you would like to see that, I'll try to link it in the upper right-hand corner in case you're interested. But these are just gorgeous pencils with the gold rings on the top and the gold writing on them. They are so similar to a Holbein that it's just really crazy. Even the numbers on them are very comparable to the Holbein. But they changed out the letter to stand for Brute Fooner. So they've got a B for Brute Fooner on there. And these actually now on Amazon 
come in a case already for a fantastic price. I think it's only like $20 and they come in a case and oh my goodness, I wish I had gotten those. <laughs> Not that I really wish I had waited. I just wish that when they started selling these, they sold them with the case as well. It's always nice to just get a case with your pencils. And you could see that I still have mine in a case that's way too big for them because I've not yet purchased a smaller case for them. But here's a swatch chart for the Brute Funer Macaron. And you can see that there's some gorgeous colors in here. This is actually available in my Etsy shop. I have a copy available all like this already swatched out as well as a copy for you to be able to swatch your own colors on it. And I've got all the numbers and the colors already on here to make it a lot easier for you, especially if you are just getting those and you're getting the one with the case. I do think that the one with the case that they're selling now, two of the names on the pencils have actually changed. There's been a lot of back and forth about that and I can't remember exactly what names have changed, but if you go on my Facebook group and you do a search for a Brute Food or Macaron, I think you will probably find the post where somebody had listed all of the differences in the names, but I believe there were only two of them and the colors are going to be all exactly the same. So the next set of pencils that I got since my last haul in November were these Castle Art pastel tints. These are super nice pencils too. Here is the swatch chart for these. You could see there's really gorgeous bright vibrant colors and this swatch chart is smoother it's on smoother paper and they went down really nicely on here you could see how gorgeous bright and vibrant these colors are let me grab the brute funer one so you all can see the difference in some of the colors so if you want to pause the video here you could see the difference in the colors between these two sets but you do get some colors in one set that you don't get in another if you want to see a full comparison I also did a video on that and I went and compared all of the colors exactly side by side and went over both of these swatch charts but you get the names on the inside of the box the names and the numbers with the color swatch of course this is not going to be exact you do need to look at your swatch chart if you want to see an exact swatch of the colors. There are 48 colors in here. And so here are the colors you get in the first tray. And then here are the colors you get in the second tray. But there's some gorgeous colors in here. I really, really love these pencils. They're super nice. I really want to get the metallic set too. I just have not purchased it yet. <laughs> But that is one set that I definitely want. And lately, I am really loving the Castle Art pencils. You saw my most recent video where I tested out all the different budget sets of colored pencils in the Amazon books. You will know that the Castle Arts perform absolutely beautiful in those Amazon printed books. I have not yet tried these pastel tints in the Amazon books. I think I need to do that maybe in the next video. Hmm. That's an idea because I was going to do another video where I compare a bunch of budget sets, a third video where I test three more sets out on the Amazon printed books. The next set of pencils that I received are these gorgeous Artex pencils. And I do have a review on these, but these pencils are just beautiful and they're so, so nice. Now, if you didn't already see my review and you're not familiar with these pencils, I will show you what they look like, but they have these really pretty decorative stars going down the side here. And then you've got the company name and another little decorative star here. We have a UPC code and then all of them do have names and the names on these pencils actually match up to the Prisma colors. So that's been their big thing and their marketing. <laughs> like, are they as good as a Prismacolor? They are really, really nice pencils. But as far as as good as a Prismacolor, y'all know how much I love my Prismacolors. And I don't think anything can compare to my Prismacolors. But the colors are very similar and the color names on these are very similar as well. And they are a very nice budget set. And there are 72 colors in here. I have heard that they are coming out with a set of 120. So you can look for that come a little bit closer to September. They're saying September on Amazon, but when I talked to 
my contact that sent me these pencils, he told me it was going to be October. So look out for that. I'm excited that they're coming out with 120 set because I really like these pencils. I've done a couple of videos on these, including testing these out in one of the Amazon books or several different coloring books, I think. I really don't have the space to be able to link everything because I can only link up to five videos. So if you just go to the top of my channel and you switch over to the tab where it says videos and hit the little search bar, you can search for any video that you would like to on my channel. So I would just put in Artex and all the videos for Artex will come up. These I also did a review on. These are also by Artex. These are their pastel set of Oros markers and these are super, super nice. Look at those colors, y'all. And what I like best about these markers is that they come in this case and this case is such nice quality you've got so much padding in here and everything if you would like to see the review on these of course you can search my channel for our text and these will come up let's go ahead and take a look at the markers the barrel of the markers are gray and then you've got the bullet nib on this side and then over here you do have a brush so these are brush markers and they are super, super nice. If you're looking for a set that is just primarily pastels that you could use with your colored pencils, that is the most wonderful thing about these. That is one of the reasons I really, really love them because a lot of times when I'm using my alcohol markers, I use my alcohol markers as a base and then I come back and I lay my colored pencils over them. So that's why this set is so perfect because when you're doing something like that, you want a lot of very light pastel colors because what you're doing is you're using your markers as a base for your colored pencils and it helps your colored pencils to adhere a little bit better. At least I feel like it does. And then you've got that pop of highlight in there and you just need to bring in a mid-tone and a darker tone and it looks really, really pretty. And these would be fantastic if you wanted a marker set and an alcohol marker set to bring if you were traveling and taking your coloring with you along with a smaller set of colored pencils. Okay y'all, so the next thing I've gotten since my last haul <laughs> are these beautiful Holbeins. Oh my goodness, look at these. I did receive these as happy mail from a wonderful subscriber and she didn't want me to mention her name so I'm not going to, but these are the most beautiful pencils y'all, oh my gosh. And I have been coloring with these so much since I got them. You can see that a lot of my <laughs> favorite colors, I'm already like going down there and I had to stop using them and pull out some other pencils and go back to my Prisma colors because I am so worried that they're just gonna be down to nothing. <laughs> you could see some of the colors like this one and this one. Every time I sharpen them, this one here, this one here. Every time I sharpen them, I just want to cry. My white Holbein, I use like crazy, but you can tell which colors I've been using the most. Look at this purple, the poor purple. And these here, oh my goodness, look at these. How much has come off of those already? It's just so sad <laughs> to see them like that. And then this tray here, look at some of these colors. You could definitely tell <laughs> which ones are my favorite highlight colors. That would be these two right here are my absolute favorite on the tone tan paper. This one is the Juan Brilliant. And this one I think is the ivory maybe. Yep, ivory. That's my one of my absolute favorite colors in this set. And then this one way down here is the cream. That's another one of my absolute favorites. But <laughs> I stopped using them and I started picking up some of my other colored pencils and using them instead because it was really making me just wanna cry. Thank goodness that you could purchase these open stock but these are the most beautiful pencils. They come in the most beautiful colors. So many of you have asked me if I was gonna put these into color family order, and I will definitely say I am not, because I love how we get all these more muted tones up here in the top tray, and then some of the grays and the metallics. I love how they're separated. And then here we get more of your 
basic bright colors, a lot of mid-tones here, some colors you could use for highlights like here and then down here, but they're more of your basic colors. And then over here on this one, of course, we have the whole tray of pastels with some neons, but let me show you just how gorgeous these pencils are. Look how beautiful they are. The gold ring and the gold embossing on them, the gold writing, it's just so beautiful. They're the most gorgeous pencils. But like I said, those Brute Fooners, they look very much like these. They are beautiful pencils too, the Brute Fooner Macarons, but they are supposed to be a dupe for these. I did do a video where I compared the Holbein pastels to the pastels in this set, so if you've not seen that, you can search my channel for that as well. But these pencils are like an absolute dream. They really, really are. And you can see they've not made their way to a case yet, just because I like the way that they are already here in their trays. And I just pull the trays out and I don't usually leave them in the box. I just put them in the box for this video, but I usually leave them sitting in their trays on my desk, right there on my desk. So if I wanna color, I can just grab them. Okay, so here's my swatch chart for the Holbein colored pencils. So just in case you were interested to see what colors come in that set, this is all of the 150 colors, but look at these gorgeous pastels down here and those neons, they are just gorgeous and I just love these pencils. Okay y'all, so the next set of pencils I have are these Tombow Erogeton. There are 90 colors in these three books, 30 colors in each one, and each one of them is a different collection. This is the Rainforest, the Seascape, and the Woodlands collection. This first set here has the Pale Tone 2, the Deep Tone 2, and the Light Grayish Tone. And then this one is going to have the Pale Tones, the Vivid Tones, and the Deep Tones. And then this one here has the very pale tones, the fluorescence, and the dull tones. Now I did just do a review on these, so if you've not seen that, it should be the video that was released just before this one. So if you've not seen that, you can go back and watch that. I'll try to go ahead and link that one in the upper right hand corner so you could see my review. They come in these little books like this, and I pulled this one because this is the fluorescent colors. And if this is not the, a reason alone why you just buy just this set, of 30. <laughs> I don't know what is, but look at these colors. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they are just beautiful. I'll hold them a little bit closer up here so y'all could see the colors and see the leads of the pencils. But look how beautiful these pencils are. They have white barrels and the color dip tip. They do have silver embossing for the writing and I don't know, it's a little bit hard to see. It does make it a little bit easier because they're written in capital letters, but that is just fine with me because these pencils are just absolutely gorgeous. And if you want more information on them, you can go and watch my review. And I'm not gonna open up every single set because I did already do a review on them, but I'll pull one from one of the other sets so you can get a look at what some of these colors are because you literally get three sets of pastels. You get a set of pastels or very pale colors in this one, a set of pastels or very pale colors in this one, and also in this one. So this one, let me just show you here. So you've got the fluorescent and then you've got the very pale. So let me go ahead and pull out the very pale and I'll show you what I mean. For those of you that didn't see the review yet, but look at those pastels. So that comes in this set. And then this one comes in the first set. This is the first set with volume one, two, and three. And then you get more pastels. And then there are more pastels in this one. It would be the light, no, it would be actually this pale tone two here. So let me pull those out and show you those because I know how everyone is pastel crazy. But look at that, you get pastels in each one of the sets, and they're all different colors. I'm gonna show you the swatch chart, but here is the swatch chart, and I know it's very little. I downloaded this chart off of Tombow's website, and I just only used this one just because it had the Rainforest collection, the Woodlands collection, and the Seascape collection all separated. So if you wanted the neon colors, you would go with the Seascape collection, which is this one. If you were looking for pastels, all of the sets have pastels, but 
I honestly think that if you wanted a set that was just going to work with you where you wanted a darker color, a mid-tone, and a lighter color to be able to work with, I think the Woodland set would be the absolute best choice. I'll hold this a little bit closer so you could see the colors in that Woodland set, but you get some darker shades and some mid-tones and some pastel colors. Let me hold it up here so you could see the rainforest. And then these are the colors in the seascape. And I think if I were to start with just two sets, I would probably do the woodlands and the seascape just because there are even lighter pastels in this one. You still get some midtones and you get all those neons. And then here you still get all those darker shades. And one of my favorite colors, you get indigo. And I will mention that there is no white in this set and there is no true black. That is your black right there, and the black is an ivory black, so it is a little bit toned down, and it is not a true black black color, but it is a very pretty color. And this next set of pencils, you may have already seen, if you saw my video where I was testing pencils in the Amazon printed books, but these are the Calor 180 set. And the reason I wanted these is not only because they had a huge price drop. I think I actually got these for like $28, y'all, <laughs> which is absolutely crazy. Now, these pencils are the same pencils as the Brute Finner Black Barrel 180 and the Sioux Color Black Barrel 180. So if you already have those, you don't want to purchase these. But there are so many colors in here, and these pencils are really nice pencils but I'll hold it up a little closer so you could see the colors in here. And I'll just go through each one of the trays. There's quite a lot of trays, and I've not even sharpened these yet. The reason I did purchase these is because I gave away, at least I think I gave away, I think I gave my, I had the Brute Funer 180. If you saw that, I actually did a review on those, and those are the same exact pencils as these. I cannot find that set anywhere, so I think I gave it to my daughter, and you know, y'all know how teenagers are, and they just, I don't know, y'all know how teenagers are with their stuff, but <laughs> I can't find them. I had given them to her to color with, and I cannot even find them, so <laughs> I wanted my own set, but this comes with so many colors. There are metallics in here. You get your grays. You just get so many colors in this set. That is the last tray. So on this last one, you get a couple metallics. I think you get your silver. And I don't know which one the gold is in. I don't see the gold here. But you get some shades of brown here, some yellow, some more browns. And then here you get quite a few purples, which a lot of sets you don't get a lot of purples. So you get a few purples here. And then there are purples on this other tray as well. Look at all these purple shades here and more here. And then on this tray too, too here, like these sets are not lacking in purples at all. Look at that. And purples are a color that are just so hard to get in so many sets. But this will definitely give you your purples. You've got purples that go more towards blue, purples that go more towards pink. And then we get a few shades of pink in here. And I don't know, there's just really beautiful colors in here. Look at all the greens we get between this tray and then this tray as well. They do all have names and they do all have numbers. But I've not had these for that long and I only bought them just because the price dropped so much and I just could not pass up that deal considering I could not find my set of Brute Finner 180s that I already did a review on so I had to have these. Okay and the next thing I got y'all this was Happy Mail if you didn't already see my review I have a review on these two but these are the Tombow dual brush pens and I absolutely love these because of the case they come in. This case is just wonderful, but it expands like this, sort of like an accordion style. I could lay it right here, just like this if I wanted to, and then put a coloring page right here in the center. But I absolutely love these. I did a video on these on a coloring page, on a Jane Hankins coloring page. And if you wanna find that video, you can search my channel for hacks and the thumbnail is a page from the Jane Hankins coloring book but it's a hack to show you how to save time on your coloring pages they are not all in here because I'm still working on that page 
and I've got my other colors sitting here in my little jar. But these are absolutely wonderful. Let me just go ahead and show you one of these. But this is what they look like, and they have two different tips. So they do have a brush tip. These are water-based markers, so they should not go through on your coloring pages. And then they have the fine tip here. That's what the fine tip looks like. But I love these. Now, one of the reasons I love these is because, for one, they don't go through on your coloring pages. They also come with this water-based colorless blender, which is an amazing tool. I just did a video, actually, or just released a video where I showed you how to blend your uh, Derwent ink tents using this water-based blender. You can actually use this blender for so many different things, not just the Tombos. But these are just really nice to have. But the case that these come with is just so cool. It just snaps right down like that. And then you could just pick it right up and carry it wherever you'd like to. And I just love how it goes out like an accordion. And you could just leave it laying on your desk and pick the colors that you want to use. Okay, so I did find the swatch chart for the dual brush pens. And these are the colors that you get in this set. You can see you get some really beautiful colors in there. But I just am really enjoying these. I leave them right off to the side of my desk, actually on the floor, facing on the side, because you're always supposed to leave your markers facing to the side. Which, speaking of, I probably need to get these out of here. <laughs> because they probably shouldn't be sitting upright like that. But I do always leave them down there because I have found myself really reaching for these a whole lot lately. And they work so beautifully on coloring pages. And you can get your pages done so much quicker by laying a layer of these as a base and then going over it with your colored pencils. Okay, so here is my swatch chart for the Holbein colored pencils. So just in case you were interested to see what colors come in that set, this is all This is all of the 150 colors, but look at these gorgeous pastels down here and those neons. They are just gorgeous and I just love these pencils. And I got lots of happy mail <laughs> from a few different subscribers and they sent me pan pastels, <laughs> different sets of pan pastels. Okay, so one of these sets is the landscape set, and if you saw my video on those where I was unboxing them, and all of them were broken, oh my goodness. <laughs> They were literally all broken. If, if you do order these, I would probably order them from Blick. If you're ordering them from Amazon, I would order them only from Amazon if you're doing a pretty big haul and you're ordering quite a few things because then they will put them in the box. And how I know that is because one of the subscribers that just sent me two more sets of pan pastels, I received these and I opened them up. They have been opened. I just wanted to keep them like this for the video, but they have been opened. They have been checked and they are all intact. Now, the first set that I got from Amazon, because it was just pan pastels, they stuck them in a bag. This second set, this subscriber of mine, she's truly amazing. I'm not gonna say any names because I don't know if she is okay with me saying her name in my videos. I always like to ask first but I just appreciate her so much. She has been so good to me, and she sent me these two sets of hand pastels, but she also sent me some other things. She was the same one that also sent me some of those distress inks, and I'm gonna show you some other things that I received as well. But when she sent me this stuff, it all came in a box, and so it was much more protected in shipping because a few things at once were sent. But I did go and purchase these plastic cases for the pan pastels so that I could put them all in, and these are really, really nice. But the first set that I received that you all saw me do the unboxing on in that video, I'll link that in the upper right-hand corner if I can, that was the landscape set. But that first set, they were very, very broken. And so the subscriber that sent them to me, she just felt so bad and she wanted to make it right, so she <laughs> contacted Amazon and Amazon ended up sending out another set 
So I ended up with the skin set and the landscape set, but this here is what some of the colors look like, and these are just really nice. You can see I used this one, I used this one. I did a background tutorial on my channel. I used that one. Some of them I haven't used yet because some of them are newer, but some of these are duplicate colors in these cases, but these pan pastels are just amazing. Here's the third tray. And then I'm gonna have to get some more trays because I have to be able to put the other ones away. I like these trays much better, but the pan pastels do pop right out. And you can see that they come out in their little circular containers. And I did put all of the extra stuff and some of the broken ones that I had, I left in here. But this is how they come and they just stack right on top of one another. These are all very, very broken, so they're very, very messy, so I left them in there. But these are just some of the things from some of the different sets that I received and I just put them all together in one of these boxes. But you get all these little tools that come with them if you purchase them like this. You can purchase them open stock, but these are for this little tool here and they just all go on there and you can replace it with either the round one or this one here that has more of a square end. And then I do have some of the tops in here as well that go on top of the pan pastels because to put them in these plastic trays, you need to take the tops off. But I think I have all the lids in another container just like this one. But they send you all of these things. There's, this is from two different sets. So they send you all these different um, sponges that you can use to blend them. Here's another one that looks more like a wedge. And then it comes with this one as well that's a little bit bigger. But it comes with lots of different tools to be able to use them or to be able to use with them. And I think they're called soft tools. But the pan pastels just pop right back in here. And then that just goes securely on the top. And I'm definitely going to have to order some more of those plastic cases to put these in. Okay, so I slid this out really easily the first time. I don't think I'm gonna have success the second time. But I just wanted to be able to show you some of the colors that are included in here. I think I remember it opens this way, yeah. This is how they come to you. This is what they look like when they come. I hadn't opened it up aside from just to pull some of these out and check them all. <laughs> They're still really loose. I didn't tighten them up good enough when I checked them. This set has 20 colors. It's the Painting Pure Colors set. So let me go ahead and show you some of the colors in here. So we get this color here and some of these are actually duplicates, but these, like I said, were shipped in a box, and I really don't like <laughs> the packaging of these because it's just such a pain to put them all back the way that they were, and that's why I bought those plastic cases to be able to put them in because it's just so much more convenient. And then you get a white in here. I'm sure some of these are duplicate colors from what I already have because they're being ordered in these sets. And then you get a little tool down here in the last one or a sponge to be able to use with them. And then as you can see, you get another sponge here. And then you get your little tools here. Oh, so you do get two. If you were to order one, you do get two in, in one kit. So you get those two tools, and then in each one of these, at the bottoms, you will have the little sponges to be able to put onto the tools. But you get a really pretty red here, and there's another color, like a brownish red, a beautiful bright dark pink. That's a pretty color. And then a purple, and then... Oh, that was the one I just did. See, that's why I don't really like these, but I'm pretty sure, there we go. There's a bright, bright, it looks like a cobalt blue. That's gorgeous. And then I'm not gonna open the rest of these because I have a lot more stuff to share with y'all. And I want to open the pastel set here. If you wanna see a review on this set, just so you could see the colors and see them swatched out and everything, let me know and I would be glad to do that. And then here is the pastel set. And this one I was so excited about. <laughs> Look at those pastel colors. My goodness, just gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous orange. Oh, that's the top of it. 
And it's so much easier when you have the plastic cases to be able to see the colors. They do take up a lot of room though. Oh my gosh, look at that color. That's one of my favorite colors, that pale, pale greenish color. I'll oh, see. See, I just showed you the same one again because I think that was the last color in that one. Or maybe I skipped one. Let me show you another one. Goodness. You can't tell where you're opening these. A very pale blue. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And a pale gray. And it looks like a pale gray again. I think those were two different ones. So a pale yellow. A little bit of a darker yellow. Another yellow. A pale green. That's gorgeous. And then a white. And I think I have quite a few wet whites. I have heard if you are going to order these that it is best to order that pure set and then add on from there. But I don't know if I would order them the way that I've gotten them. I've just had a few different subscribers send me a bunch of different sets. So I'm ending up with a bunch of doubles, which of course I don't mind. <laughs> but I think if you are ordering them, I have heard that if you just start out with the pure set, which is this set here, the painting pure colors, this has all your basic colors and then you could add on the tints and the shades from there and just purchase them open stock. And the next thing I have is this Deco Art Enchanted Iridescent Top Coat Acrylic. Now the reason I bought this, I bought it in the shade Magenta, but you can sort of see, I'll hold it like this so you could sort of see what the color is. They had all different colors and I guess this one just has more of a pink hue because it's magenta, like a pinky purpley hue. That's what it looks like to me anyway. I've not yet opened it, but I bought that because I need to finish this page. I've been working on this page and this was a few different di videos on my channel. One was a watercolor background tutorial, another one was about how to come back and fix mistakes because I really wanted to continue with this page but I didn't really like the way that the watercolor background turned out. So I did a couple different videos where I went through and fixed some different things. I showed you how I added some of the things on the bottle and did all of the glitter work and all of this on here. And this page is just completely mixed media. So I wanted to be able to finish this page. And so that's why I bought this. I think I'm gonna use this a lot on the little tag down here. And then on these little bubbles, I'm gonna make all of them iridescent with the acrylic paint. But I did use acrylic paint on this page already and I love the way that the acrylic paint goes down on coloring pages. This has acrylic paint and stickles and all kinds of different stuff on it. Prismacolors, Posca, uh, watercolors. <laughs> it just has a lot of different things on it. So it's coming together really beautifully. I just need to finish all this down here. And that's why I bought the iridescent paint so that I can use it for a lot of this here and the little bubbles. And probably again on another page very, very soon because I've really been loving using the acrylic paint on my coloring pages. I find that mixed media pages are the most fun when you bring in a whole bunch of different mediums and you just put them all down on one page. They just come out so beautiful. But that was in Hannah Carlson's Magical Dawn, just in case you haven't seen those videos and you want to be able to color that bottle. So I also ordered this Winsor & Newton ink. It's just white ink. And... This is what it looks like, but I purchased this just so I can experiment with it in coloring books. I wanted another way to be able to create highlights on my coloring pages. I'm probably going to use a little bit of this on the page that I showed you earlier, the Hannah Carlson page with the bottle on it, and create a few more highlights, but this is what it looks like. Let's open it here. So you do need a brush to be able to use it. So I'll probably use just one of my very thin brushes. But I've been wanting white ink for the longest time just to be able to experiment on my coloring pages. I also ordered these number stickers and I'm using these so that I could put my Prisma colors in order. But I think that the numbers go from one to 300. 
it looks like they go from 1 to 240. I thought they were 300, but it doesn't matter because I only have 150 colors. But this is what they look like, and the numbers are just really small. And I'm just going to wrap them right around the top of my Prisma colors because my Prisma colors are all over the place. I want to put them in some kind of order, and I want to be able to keep track of them because I don't know if I even have all 150 colors in the case because they are just scattered all over my desk. And I've got some over here in my little glass mason jar and they're just all over the place. So I wanna make sure I have all 150 colors, at least one set all in a case in the order that they're supposed to go in and it will make it a lot easier to know where to put the colors back. Okay, so the next thing I have to share with you are these alcohol markers from San Joki. And it just says San Joki Art Markers, Color the Life. <laughs> But the company sent these to me and I didn't know if I was going to show them on my channel or not, <laughs> but they wanted to send them to me for review and I have not been taking any more alcohol markers when these companies send me things because I don't know, my channel is all about colored pencils and I don't know how many of you are really into alcohol markers. So I've not been reviewing any more alcohol markers because I've reviewed quite a few very recently. But this company reached out to me and I'm sharing these because I was really surprised by them. Now, just the case alone on these is wonderful for travel. First of all, look at the beautiful clip here that keeps them closed. It's just such good quality. So it opens like that and then it's got Velcro on it. You could hear how loud and how strong that Velcro was. And so it just folds open like that. And then it's got the little shoulder strap and that shoulder strap actually hooks onto these right here. So you can carry it like this or you can carry it with the additional shoulder strap. And then I thought this was super, super cool because they have Velcro over here on the sides as well. So if you just wanted to slide the markers out, <laughs> it makes it really, really easy to do so. And what else is in here? Oh my goodness. It looks like it comes with some marker paper. Okay, so I opened it up and it's just an A5 pad and that's exactly what it is. It's just some marker paper. So it comes with the marker paper included, which is really cool. So if you're an artist, that makes it really convenient. Oh, and then it comes with a swatch chart. Oh, I love how it says color the life on there. This is definitely a toothier paper that seems to be much better for probably colored pencils, but I'm probably gonna go ahead and swatch my colors out on here because I love when alcohol markers come with their own swatch chart. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it, but there are 120 colors in this set. You get this little pad here to slide behind your coloring pages so you don't have any bleed through because we all know with alcohol markers, you are going to get some bleed through. What is in here? It looks like there are label stickers in here. And I think the other another set of alcohol markers came with label stickers, but yes, they're label stickers. I would assume to put on your markers to label them yourself, but let's go ahead and open one of these and move the case out of the way. Wait, there's something else in here. <laughs> okay, so it just comes with a chart with all of the names and numbers of the colors. So they do have names and they do have numbers. So it's just a little pamphlet that gives you information about the markers. So let's go ahead and open these markers so we can take a look at them. Okay, so there is the bullet nib, and then there is the brush. So these are probably going to be, you know, just like your Ohuhu markers, your Cali Art markers, or any of the other budget marker sets that you would purchase on Amazon. This set is the 120 set. It also comes in an 80 set. The 120 set is $43.90 and you can purchase the set of 80 for $32.90. But they do come in here in this little holder container that goes right back into the case. And I guess by the sides opening here on the case, it does make it much easier to just slide the markers right back in there like that and then shut it back up. Okay, so I'm seeing now why they have labels 
because there is no number or no name on these markers. They do have the number, so this one is number 10. So they do have the number on the top of the markers. They do also come with a colorless blender, so you're actually getting 119 colors and a colorless blender. But let's go ahead and see how these swatch out. They're definitely nice and juicy. Let's try the brush. These are really nice. As with most alcohol markers, they are going to have a little bit of an alcohol smell. Some sets are much stronger than others. These don't smell that bad, but there are some sets that I've reviewed that have had a much stronger smell. If you don't like that, then I would suggest going with a water-based marker. Ohuhu actually has a water-based set that is supposedly really good. Of course, there's the Tombos, but those are gonna be much more expensive, but I've heard really good things about the Ohuhu water-based set. If you are looking for an alcohol-based set that is great for travel, these are very, very juicy. You are going to have to use those later Labels. That's why they came with those labels I showed you because you can put the label on here and put the color names right on the markers to go along with the numbers on the tips of the marker. So all of that is in the pamphlet so you'll be able to match up the color names along with the number to be able to label your markers if you wanted to. So we're just gonna close these back up. If you would like to see me do a review on these, I would be glad to just let me know in the comments below. I've just not been reviewing too many alcohol markers lately just because y'all like to see pencils. At least I think y'all like to see pencils. <laughs> going to move on to the coloring books and these are not going to be complete flip throughs for the coloring books. I'm just going to do like a fan flip through of these coloring books. Now this one was sent to me by a subscriber. Thank you so so much to the person who sent this to me. Again I don't want to say any names because a lot of the people that send things to me sometimes they want to remain anonymous and I like to ask before I mention someone's name on a video. But I appreciate all of you even if you're just watching my videos and supporting me in that way. I appreciate it so much. So this is Escape to Oz, illustrated by Good Wives and Warriors. And this coloring book is actually adorable. And it's a very small coloring book. Let me go ahead and show you compared to another one. So this is your typical Amazon book. And then this is the Escape to Oz. And you can see how much smaller it is than the Amazon printed book. So this book would be great for traveling and taking with you if you don't want to take up a lot of space. If you are traveling or going mobile with your coloring, I would suggest a coloring book like this. Probably this Artex set of alcohol markers, so you've got your pastel colors, and then maybe a smaller set of pencils. If you have these in a case, this case that they come in, I don't really care for it. These do need to go in a case, but there's only 72 colors in here and between this and the other thing and one little small coloring book, you should be just fine. But let's go ahead and look through this one here. I'm just gonna do a quick fan flip through and tell you a little bit about the coloring book. But the paper in here is a little bit smoother, so this would actually be perfect for alcohol markers. Always make sure you put something behind. This book does have the images on both sides, so you are going to get some bleed through. But there are also pencils that work best on coloring books with the smoother paper. And Polychromos is one of those. I love how they work in coloring books with smoother paper. But this book is really adorable. The line art is pretty dark in here, so keep that in mind if you're someone who likes to color and hide a lot of that line art with your colored pencils. The line art is going to be a bit darker. So this book may be fantastic for alcohol markers, but of course you're gonna lose the image on the other side. But that's just a really adorable coloring book. So that was Escape to Oz. And then I also received from a subscriber this Fairies 2 Grayscale coloring book by Christine Karen. And I'll just do a quick flip of this one. But Christine Karen's artwork is always gorgeous, <laughs> always. I think I'm seeing some doubles in here that I see in other books or that I've seen in another book that I have. Y'all have to let me know if that's the case. Now that one's gorgeous, that one I definitely have not seen. And this is printed on the Amazon paper. I know some of you are very picky about the Amazon printed books, but 
I really like coloring right in Christine Karen's books and I've even used markers on these pages. I've even used watercolor pencils on some of the pages in her books on the Amazon paper. This is a brand new release by Deborah Muller. This is Little Goth Girls and this one is absolutely adorable as are all of her books. You're just gonna get some Little Goth Girls. <laughs> And these are really simple, fun colors with lots of background space. And again, I'm just going to do the flip through a lot faster than I normally would since this is not one of my adult coloring flip through videos. But I wanted to be able to get all of these coloring books in this video as well. So hopefully just by me doing the quick flips, you all be able to decide whether or not you want to purchase any of these books. Look how adorable. <laughs> I love Deborah Muller's artwork though. They're so cute. But that is Little Goth Girls. And she just came out with a brand new book today. So I don't have the book yet, but I printed out a couple of the pages because she was kind enough to send me the PDF. So I printed out a couple of the pages so y'all can see this one is called Zodiac Witches. It is available in her Etsy shop and on Amazon, but it was just released and just available today. Oh, did I print out the same one? I must have printed out two of the same one by accident. But here's a couple of the images that are contained within that book. That book has a lot of portraits that are zoomed in much closer, and then it has some other ones with some other witches that are zoomed out further, but the whole book is just really, really cute. I also have this coloring book by Deborah Muller. This is Gothic Charm School, and this one came in the mail just in time for me to be able to show it to y'all. So I'm just going to do a really quick fan flip like I've done with the other ones. This is a super cute book, much like what you're used to seeing from Deborah Muller. Low look at her hair. Oh my gosh, I love those braids. How cute. She's got some beautiful long hair. I love all the creative hairstyles in here, but this one is super cute too. Deborah Muller has come out with a lot of books recently, and she is getting ready for Halloween. She's got more books to come for Halloween. The original one, or I think the first one that I showed you with the witches, that one was her first Halloween book, and she's got a few more to come. So this one is Gothic Charm School, and it's just really cute, just like all of her other books. And this was more happy mail from a subscriber. I thought that I had this coloring book and apparently I didn't have this coloring book. <laughs> Y'all know how much I love Maria Trolle's books. And I honestly thought I had her whole collection until I went to go look on Amazon and this book was never ordered before. <laughs> so one of my subscribers ordered it for me because I was like, oh my gosh, that book is beautiful. <laughs> And she surprised me and sent it to me, but there's some gorgeous pictures in here. And we all know Maria Trolle's artwork is always beautiful. The paper in her books is top notch. I love my Prisma colors in these books. I love my Crayolas in these books, especially this is the one book and the one paper that I have found that Crayolas work the absolute best on without needing anything else to blend the colors together and just using straight Crayolas in here. But I absolutely love Maria Trolle's books. So that is Twilight Garden. I'm sure many of you have this book and you've seen flip throughs of this one, but it's a gorgeous coloring book. And this also was happy mail from a subscriber and I have not opened this yet. So y'all have no idea how much I've been wanting a copy of this coloring book. I had gone to several different Walmarts to try to find this coloring book and I didn't. So when this subscriber emailed me and asked me if I wanted a copy, I was just oh, <laughs> like, yes, yes. So this is the Fairytopia special. If you're not familiar with Mystic Art Mirrors, this is her artwork. And I actually did purchase some PDFs off of her Etsy shop. And I don't know, after I purchased them, I was kind of like, eh. But I saw this book and I liked the artwork in this book much, much better than the ones that I purchased from her Etsy shop. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to have that. <laughs> So I went off to check some of the Walmarts 
and I was really disappointed because everybody was saying they were getting their copy in Walmart and my Walmart. Unfortunately, a few of them did not have a copy of this coloring book. I even checked Barnes & Noble, but look how gorgeous these images are. Look at those eyelashes. Oh my goodness. Just beautiful. But I feel like her artwork would be much better suited for alcohol markers. So I am gonna pull out my alcohol markers and color one of the pages in here. I tried on my PDF copy of one of the images of the coloring books that I purchased from her Etsy shop. And I don't know, I just didn't like the way that it was turning out. I started with the hair and I didn't like the way that it was turning out. Maybe it was the colors I chose. Maybe it was a paper I was using. And her art style on the hair is just a little bit different than what I'm used to. So I need to work on that a little bit more, but I do love her artwork and it's just so different and so unique. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous this one is. That is just so beautiful. Look at the beads. Oh my goodness. I'm already like looking at this page thinking of what I can do to it. And I'm thinking of my metallic acrylic paint <laughs> that I have and going over all the beading with that. That would just look so super cool. But all of her artwork is, of course, her typical art style. And it's going to be just all these very different looking girls with those fabulous eyelashes. <laughs> oh, look at her hair. Oh my gosh, that would be fun to color. I love it. Look at her French braid. That is just gorgeous. But I've seen some beautiful colored pages from her artwork. Oh my gosh, look at these. Now this here is totally up my alley. Look at that grayscale. This is very different than what I've seen from her. It's got all this additional gray in here. Wow. Oh, look at those. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely going to color one of these. I love that one. Look at the butterfly. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love those. Oh my goodness. Now the paper in these Coloring Heaven books is a little bit on the smoother side. I feel like they would be better probably with alcohol markers. So I'm going to try it out in here and see. But I would put something behind the pages if you were going to do that. You don't have to worry about the back side of the page because all of the pages in here are going to have numbers on the back. So it looks like there's 40 images in this book. So each one is numbered on the back of the page. So you don't have to worry about your alcohol markers bleeding through as long as you put something there on the other side so that it doesn't affect the next page. And this is another book that was sent to me by a subscriber. So this was total happy mail because I've been wanting this book for the longest time. This is Belle Jardin. I'm not even sure I'm saying it right, but this book is just the cutest ever. It's a really thick book and it's sort of heavy. The paper is smoother, but I'm going to do a back to front flip because I feel like that'll be much easier to see the pages. But look at the gorgeous artwork in this book. Look at these cute, cute images. Now there is artwork on both sides. You can see it's front and back. I think I'm going to use my colored pencils in here. I'm probably going to use my polychromos in this book. But look at all these adorable images. I saw a flip through of this book on YouTube and I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to have that one. I absolutely love it. But look how cute these pages are. But as you can see, it's very garden themed. It's got lots of cute images in it, lots of vegetables and different things like that. This one is Adorable Characters Cuteness Overload. This was also sent to me by a subscriber. So this one too was Happy Mail. This is by Duria Kakirsoy. I know that I, oh my gosh, I know that I'm not saying that right. And I'm sorry, I apologize, but I'm not sure how to say that last name. But this is her coloring book six. And I've been wanting one of her coloring books for the longest time. Her images are the cutest ever. Now, this is on the Amazon printed paper, but look at this grayscale. The grayscale just looks so smooth and beautiful. And I just can't wait to color in this book. And I'm probably gonna color right in the book, but look at these adorable images. Oh my goodness. And I'm pretty sure she does have an Etsy shop as well. I'm pretty sure that's where she started was on Etsy and then she had her coloring books and started printing uh, books on Amazon a little bit later. But these images are adorable. Look at these big eyed girls. I love the big eyed girls. These are just so cute. 
but here's all the images that are inside the book and like it says adorable characters cuteness overload <laughs> they're definitely cute and here's another coloring book that was happy mail and i've been wanting this one for the longest time as well this is flower skate by maggie anterios i think i said that right but this is a thicker book too so i'm going to do a back to front flip through as well for this one but Y'all know how much I love to color flowers, and I saw this book, and I was like, I just have to have that one. This has been out for a while, but look at all the flowers. Look how pretty. This artwork is just absolutely gorgeous. But the whole book is nothing but flowers. That's why, of course, it's called Flowerscape. <laughs> You even have some background space here on some of the pages, but I'm definitely gonna use colored pencils on these. The paper is a little bit smoother, and I'm gonna see how my Prismacolors work in this book, but I'm excited to work in this book. These images in here are just absolutely beautiful. But that is Flowerscape by Maggie Anterios. Okay, y'all, so that was everything, and I think I've been filming for almost two hours now, so that was quite a lot of stuff. I hope that you enjoyed this coloring supply and coloring book haul. Everything that you've seen in this video will be down in the description box below so that you could easily find it. And I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.